Hey everyone, it's Lara from ArtRollyHouse.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a homemade, all-natural sunscreen. Every year in the springtime, I whip up a batch of this and it always lasts me throughout the spring and summer and then I just make a new one for the next year. So I've been making this for several years so I can tell you that it does work. It is super simple to make and you just need a few ingredients and you probably have a couple of them sitting in your pantry already. So to make this, you're gonna need a double boiler and if you have watched any of my other videos where we've used a double boiler here, you know that I don't actually have one and instead I just take a bowl and place it over top of a pot because that makes a perfect double boiler. So I'm going to place my ingredients here in the bowl and then I'm going to heat them up over the stove to get them melted and then we'll move on to the next steps. The first ingredient that we're gonna use is I'm gonna add in a half of a cup of avocado oil. And then I'm going to put in a fourth of a cup of cocoa butter. Now cocoa butter comes in these hunks that look like this and so if you don't have this exact amount of cocoa butter it's okay just around a fourth of a cup sometimes this one's hard to measure because of it coming in the hunks like this i'm going to add in a fourth of a cup of cocoa butter and then i'm going to add in a fourth of a cup of coconut oil and then i'm going to add in a fourth of a cup of beeswax now the beeswax is really important because that's what's going to make this waterproof and then i am just going to go place this over the stove over medium to high heat and let the water underneath of it come to a boil and then let these ingredients melt. Now we need to let this mixture cool quite a bit before we add in the next ingredient. So I'm just going to leave mine out here for a few hours at room temperature. You can also place it in the fridge, but you wanna make sure that it doesn't become a solid because we still have to mix in the part that makes it sunscreen, which is the zinc oxide. So this is non-nano zinc oxide, and this is the part that makes it SPF. So once the mixture is cool, we're gonna pour in 1 4th cup of the non-nano zinc oxide. And then you have the option of adding in essential oils. Now the essential oils are mostly for scent. There's also several that are really good for the skin. So I have here some peppermint because it is a nice cooling oil so that might feel good in your sunscreen. Frankincense is another oil that I have here because this one has some amazing benefits for the skin. Another great one would be lavender essential oil. Now the one thing that you'll want to do is make sure you do not add in any citrus essential oils because citrus Citrus oils are photosensitive and that can actually cause you to get sunburned. So you definitely don't want to add in citrus oils into your sunscreen. So that is optional. If you want to, you can add in about 10 to 20 drops of essential oil depending on how strong you want the scent. So like I said, we're going to let this completely cool. Then we'll add in the 1 4th cup of zinc oxide and your essential oils if you are using them. Then you're going to whisk those ingredients together and till everything is well combined and then your sunscreen is ready for use. I like to store mine in a wide mouth mason jar and I use a wide mouth mason jar because then it is easier to get in there and get the sunscreen all the way until the very end. If it's almost gone, you can still reach in there and get some out. If you are looking to make some more natural products and get toxins out of your home, be sure to grab my ebook with my top 10 favorite 
homemade recipes using essential oils and other natural products. And if you are looking for more essential oil education, be sure to grab my free online class. There's a link for that down in the description below. And if this is your first time by my channel, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button. I get out new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday morning on essential oil education, healthy recipes, and natural remedies. Thank you so much for stopping by our oily house.